Hi students, I'm back with another art video for you, which is connected to the story called How I Learned Geography, which you should read before you watch this video. This story is about a boy and his family who are living in poverty in a strange country. They don't have much food and rely on their father to bring home food to eat. One evening, the father brings home a world map instead of food for the family, and the boy gets upset. However, when the map gets hung on the wall, the boy is taken to exotic places without ever leaving his room, and discovers that the map feeds him in a way that food never could. Today, you will make your very own map, and you have two options to make your map. Your first option is to create an imaginary world, nothing like the world we live in today, and you would be able to travel to this world anytime you wanted. In your map, you could include fantasy worlds such as dinosaur lands, islands, rainforests, underwater cities, cities in the clouds, and you will draw these places on your map, labeling all the different cities and countries you create. Now the second option is for you to draw the real world map and label countries and cities and different landscapes such as mountain ranges, jungles, deserts, and forests. And you could also include your favorite places you've been to or places you want to go to that you've never been to. If you do this option, I would suggest to do some research on the side just to know what these countries look like before you draw them in your map. First, you will need a piece of paper. Second, you will need a pencil to draw the outline of your map. Third thing you will need is coloring materials to make your map beautiful and colorful. An extra material you could use is old magazines that you can cut out and paste into your map if they have to do with forests or oceans. It's sometimes fun to find pictures from magazines to paste into your map. The first step is to begin drawing the outline of your map. You can use the real world map as a reference when drawing out your own countries or landscapes. Step two, you will label and name places on your map with your pencil before you draw. Third step, you will draw in the details of your imaginary places. The last and final step you will make your map colorful by using all of your coloring materials you have at home. If you're using magazine pictures, you will cut out magazine pictures that you found and paste them into your map where you want them located using your glue and your scissors. Hi, thanks so much for watching this video and joining me as I've made my own map. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Um, make sure to post pictures of your map so I can see what you came up with. For mine, I've put a roller coaster park, a private swimming cove, a concert hall where this island is called Legends of Music and Art. I have beaches up here and a coral reef area. I also thought about adding a fresh farm where I can get all my fresh produce. And then close to that, there's a food city so I can have a bunch of different types of food that I love to eat. Um, then I connected an airport that would allow me to travel to an adventure island where there's dinosaurs and you can actually take a boat from this big island to this adventure island. And then I have sister islands here where you can go cave hunting. And I included some zoomed in photos of what those islands might look like using my magazine pictures. And then for my tropical animal rainforest, I have parrots that you would probably see in, in this tropical rainforest. And this is a, a place where I feel like I could travel to whenever I want to use my imagination. So I hope that this is really encouraging for you to know what to create for your own map. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for joining me. Bye.